In this tutorial, we're going to learn to work with Articulate Presenter 360's annotation feature. And essentially, the way the annotation feature works is that you'll have some recorded narration, and I want to highlight different parts of the form using the annotations. So the first thing we need to do is record some narration, and then we'll add some annotations. Now I'm going to use this form here, and you can find that in your practice folder. One of the things you'll notice, I have a little transcript down here in the PowerPoint notes, and that's what I'm going to read for my narration. So let's go ahead and click on narration. That's going to open up our narration window. And what you notice, we've got our toolbar up here on top. So here's where we can record. Uh, here's where we find our annotations. You can see I have my slide here. And then over here are my notes. Now when I record my narration, we're going to see the narration track appear here. And then as I add annotations, they'll also appear on the track. And then I can move those around. So it's really easy to work with. We're going to do it two ways. First time I'm going to record the narration, and then we'll use the spotlight effect. And then we'll record, we'll get rid of the spotlights, and we'll actually use an arrow. Uh, so you can see how the annotations work. So let's go ahead and record the narration first. And I'm going to read this script. Today we'll learn to complete this tax form. In box 1, you need to add your name and address. In box 2, add your Social Security number. In box 3, select your marital status. And then in box 5, add your total number of allowances. Make sure to sign and date the W-4 and give it to your employer. And then once I'm done recording, I just hit Stop. And I can see my audio track here. And if I play it back, Today we'll learn to complete this tax form. In box one, Everything seems fine. So I can see this is in box 1. So all I need to do is add my annotations. So I'm going to put my playhead here. And you'll notice I have some annotation choices. For this one, we're going to use the Spotlight. So I'm going to do the Spotlight. And I'm just going to click and drag that over here. And this is where I see that. So if I move the playhead and I play it, in box one, you can see how that works. I can see box two is here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll just move the playhead here. I'm going to add another spotlight effect. And we'll say box two is right here. And in box two, add your Social Security number. So let's go ahead and watch all of them together. In box one, you need to add your name and address. In box two, add all right, and you can see how that works. Now if you're working with an annotation, so let's click back over here. If you're working with an annotation, you can click on it and move it around. Uh, you can see you can resize it. Uh, you can move it on the timeline. So you can always get it right where you want it to be. Uh, you can change the timing of it and how long it's on the screen. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is it just appeared. Uh, but you can go to Effects and you have some animation effects. And let's go ahead and hit Animate on this one. And we'll hit Animate on this one as well. And you can see you can also change the corners to rounded or straight. So we're going to go ahead and play this back here and let's see what it looks like with the animations. This tax form. In box 1, you need to add your name and address. In box 2, add your Social Security number. Now one of the things you want to think about when you're working with the animations is the timing of the animation. So when there's no animation, it just appears. Uh, if there is an animation, that's going to take up part of the time. So it may not work right with your syncing. And that's basically it when you're working with the spotlights. Now let's say you want to get rid of those and do something else. We can just go ahead and select them and hit Delete. Now that we got rid of the spotlight, let's go ahead and choose an arrow. So I'm going to choose the arrow tool. You can see I have a few different arrow styles to work with. I'm just going to select this one. And I'm just going to click on the screen to see what it looks like. Now you can see that the arrow is a certain size, has a certain color. You can come over here and change that. So you've got your fill colors, your outlines, and then you also have the effects. So one of them could be the animation. So we'll just keep it at bounce. The other is the size. So right now it's at 300. We're going to choose 100. And then if I add another arrow and add another arrow, you can see everything works fine. So in this case, I know I have box 1, box 2, box 3, um, then this box 5. And then I want to point out the signing. So I have like four things. So I can just add four arrows. It really doesn't matter because I can move these on the timeline. So I think if I play this, 
in box one. Okay, so this is box one. So I'm going to select this, make sure I'm in the right arrow. So this is box one. We're going to do this here. This is box two is going to be my guess. This is probably box three. And then we'll just say this is the next one. So if we play this, in box one, okay, you can see it's the wrong arrow. In box two, you can see that's the wrong arrow. So let's go ahead and move these. So I'm going to select it. So I put my playhead wherever that's at. And I can just come over here and move this. And I can say, okay, this is box one. Right, and come over here. This is box two. I want to make sure this is in the right spot. And this will say this right here is box three, your marital status. I'm going to click over here and move this down over here. And we'll say that's fine for now. So let's go ahead and move the playhead over here. We're going to play it. In box one, you need to add your name and address. In box two, add your social security number. In box three, select your marital step. And you can see it works the way I want it to work. And again, if I want to play around with the animations, I can select an arrow. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's do the um, animation bouncing loop. So it should just keep bouncing. So let's go ahead and play that. In box one, you need to add your name and address. In box two, so there you go. It's so a lot of options that you have, different types of annotations, fills, outlines, effects. And then you can do them one at a time or have multiple on the screen at the same time. It really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of getting in there and playing around with it. But that's basically it. So when you're working with annotations, you record some narration and then come into the narration window, add your annotations. And as you can see, you can go to the timeline and move the annotations around and make your customization. So even if you start and it's not quite perfect, that's okay because you can nudge things until you get what you need. When you're done with everything, hit Save and Close. And then you can go ahead and preview the slide. Today and you can see what it looks like. In box one, you need to add your name and address. In box two, add your social security number. All right, so everything looks exactly like I want it and I'm done. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. And then watch the other tutorials to learn more about working with Articulate Presenter 360.